Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Sector and welcome back to a new video. So, patch 9.2 has finally reached its 10th week and we can finally have everything that we were waiting for, such as 4 tier set pieces, double legendary items, gem on season 3 items, and even the conquest cap will be removed today for America, tomorrow for the Europe, so you will be able to upgrade your, uh, uh, to buy your all PvP items and upgrade them fairly easily. So, by reaching that point, I wanted to create an update guide on Enhancement Shaman, or should I say the ultimate guide based on the all gameplay that I did in the previous 10 weeks, and uh, since I dropped my two guides, the one for the Enhancement Shaman overall and one for Legendary Item Series. So in this video I'm going to give my impressions about what set pieces should you wear, what legendary items gonna find the best, covenants, conduits, talents and stuff like that. And in case you're interested in add-ons, macros and a deeper conversation about Enhancement Shaman, I will leave that guide from the start of the 9.2 patch in the description, which is still pretty relevant, so make sure to check that if you're interested in all the deeper talk. And I also wanted to apologize for the stretch video uploads since I have injured my right hand and I couldn't do anything for a whole month so I was lucky to have 8 videos pre-recorded and edited so I had to stretch them out before my hand recover and it's getting better now so I'm back on the regular uploads and I'm gonna be making your favorite content the PvP montages also few more talks about Enhancement Shaman probably Mythic Plus guide because I did play that uh, recently a lot and I find it very interesting with the current spec in a state of Shaman so yeah and the uh, last thing before we start with the video is that you should guys subscribe because 19% of you viewers are not subscribed and we are getting so close to reach that 1000 subscribers which would mean a world to me and I would be very very happy if we reach that these days so if you haven't already please subscribe and enjoy the rest of the video so here we are at the beginning of the guide so pretty much the spec that i'm going to be playing for the rest of this patch for pvp is going to be the one with the combination of witch doctor's bulls bones and the unity with the ventry covenant of course because in my opinion that's currently the best and the most fun spec to play and the cooldown of chain harvest is very fairly resetted with insane damage of elemental blast and all other spells that we have so pretty much as I mentioned the legendary items will be the Witch Doctor's Loose Bones and a Unity which will be placed on head and the rest 4 tier pieces are going to be of course shoulder, chest, hands and legs and yeah don't judge me for having 2 mythic plus items and 2 uh, pvp because at the, when I came back after my hand injury I didn't know that we could make the tier set pieces out of pvp items so I uh, first made the 2 with the mythic plus and then later friend told me that I could do that for pvp so yeah I'm just gonna wait the one more week to convert these two into pvp and yeah i'm gonna be good so yeah uh, uh, unfortunately my gear isn't that updated as it should be but it's pretty decent like 268 pvp item level and the reason for that is of course as i already mentioned is because i didn't play uh, this game for a previous month because of my hand injuries so as you can see i still have season 2 items such as neck uh, I bought this one for Honor, Bracer uh, as well, it's from a previous season with uh, my medallion and stuff like that. And the uh, weapons I actually did manage to get the season 3 once and these are the best in my opinion. And the trinket that I use mostly is Cosmic Gladiator Eternal Ages because uh, it's a very good offensive trinket against the all magic damage and the casters and as you can read here, as you can all see on the screen, it gives very fairly good amount of the absorb so yeah in my opinion that's one of the best and i often swap that with the badge one just to, if i want to do more damage and yeah that's pretty much about it the of course the uh, uh, stats should be as usually versatility as your main focus followed by haste uh, followed by critical and mastery and as you can see i pretty much have them all equally here stuck but when i update my gear and get my uh, higher rating so i can upgrade the items my versatility is going to be much higher and of course the other stats as well as it naturally goes 
so by covering all this stuff i'm gonna jump into the talents and these are the talents that i used which you probably seen in the other guys but i will go quickly through them again so with which doctors wolves bones we don't need the lashing flame or forceful wind since we are not focusing on either flame shock or wind fury but the elemental blast is a, a best choice here with a very short cooldown it can deal very very good amount of damage and increase your haste critical or mastery for 3 or 6 percent for the next 10 seconds which is pretty good in the second row the best one and only choice should be storm flurry in the third one is always optional and my favorite is spirit wolf because it always helps if i'm being attacked by a rogue or something in arena and i can just be in the wolf and have that 20 percent damage reduction in the fourth row also on the option currently is the elemental assault and the best option in the fifth one again optional but my personal favorite feral lunge and i would recommend it to every one of you because uh, mobility is everything in this game and enhancement shaman does need it a lot especially versus the casters so yeah in a sixth one again not much options sundering was the best and is the best currently and in the fifth one i decided to stop playing the ascendance and focus on elemental spirits because right now with the tier set bonus and this talent uh, they're very overpowered and you're having them much often and of course with the witch doctor's wolves bond they're even getting more and more uh, cooldown reduced so having this combo is very good one for having your feral spirits in under like 40 seconds cooldown and same with your chain harvest which of course is overpowered by unity item where you spread your flame shock on everyone and pray for it to crit so it can reset your chain harvest cooldown and for pvp talents if you're playing 3 vs 3 or rated battlegrounds and stuff like that you should always use ride of the lightning as mandatory because it's finally fixed it doesn't break uh, your blind it doesn't break your blind or polymorph and stuff like that and it deals quite good amount of damage so if you're playing 2v2 of course you're not really gonna use that because you know uh, usually second partner if it's healer or some region will stay away but instead of that i use shamanism to give the bloodlust for me and my partner but in 3v3 rated bgs and all other stuff i use ride of lightning uh, grounding of course is always mandatory and should be used by everyone because it just can soak very powerful spells and you know help you a lot and the uh, 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 third one i uh, love to use static field mostly but if i'm in rated bg where i can throw some people away i use unleash shield and uh, empower it with the lightning shield so i'm knocking the people away like in eye of storm or rati basin if i'm at a lumber mill or similar situations like that but uh, mostly i use the uh, the static field totem because you just grab that guy that you're trying to kill and he ain't gonna run away for a couple of seconds conduits are the same uh, as before you're going with the nadja the mist blade follow this route because it's the best one with unruly winds uh, thunderous pause vital exhortation lavish harvest focused lightning and refreshing waters and yeah as you can see you're going by the left side and then switching to right for the fatal flow and yeah that's it pretty much for this fast and ultimate guide again as i already mentioned a couple of times you will have the full guide in the description and you can just click there and check it out if you are interested about some other stuff and i hope this should i say quick guide and a fast guide it help you answer a few of your questions and you know it help you about your enhancement shaman if you have of course any question feel free to leave a comment i'm answering every single comment that i ever had on this channel and i will keep doing that so yeah thank you all for watching please subscribe if you haven't and see you guys in the next peace